Deputy Mayor Andreas Walter, RJM Director Annette Su, Professor Peju Laigola, Chairman Edo United Cologne Samuel Ekarepa, Oba Atope. Yes, Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by expressing delight for not only being invited to the opening of the missing Giving Back and Remembering Exhibition in the historic city of Cologne, but also being given the opportunity to share my thoughts. Cologne is always a city I relish visiting because one gets the feeling that Cologne always finishes what it starts. <laughs> it, started, it started building one of the most beautiful cathedrals in the world. In the year 1248, and finished 632 years. In the same way, Nigeria remains confident that the 96 or so pieces in Cologne from the Benin cultural properties forcibly taken by the British colonial forces barely 125 years ago shall be returned to their rightful home. <laughs> Long intervals of inactivity for Cologne are like rest periods in a musical composition that is sure to resume with energy and vigor doing the right thing by completing what is started. It is important in appreciating the Benin bronzes on display to consider their teleology. Those who created them did so for a purpose. Some cultural, some spiritual, and some quite simply utilitarian. One cannot fully appreciate the Benin bronzes without taking into consideration their raison d'etat. And that can only be achieved if we return them from whence they came for a better understanding. To appreciate the importance of teleology, we must remind ourselves that Cologne's magnificent cathedral was built to house the shrine of the three kings. Now imagine, if you will, that the very quarry of the three mighty were to be stolen at gunpoint <laughs> and the emptiness that would, be, that would be created in the soul of this proud city. Make no mistake, the traditions and ceremonies in which many of the Benin objects played a central role have continued without them often with poor substitutes. And this answers one of the questions posed in the invitation. Who misses them? The return of the Benin Bronzes promises to catalyze the colonial healing process like no other before because of the exceptional nature of how they were acquired. Unlike many other stolen cultural properties that were taken from, the, from archaeological Deep sites. Here is an open and shut case of a colonial power with superior weapons sacking and pillaging the city, killing its citizens, and even taking pictures with looted items. The modern equivalent of sending a postcard back home. Even the Oba of Benin was not spared. He was taken away the same way the bronzes were. It is our fervent hope that the return would also be a salubrious genesis for a 
re-examination of the teleology of museums as a whole, particularly ethnological and archaeological museums that could do with ontological adjustments in the 21st century. The debate around restitution and colonial appraisal has recharged cultural diplomacy around the world with Germany and Nigeria as role models. This new energy seeks to redefine the concept of museums and the way they present themselves to the world. Restitution is not just about returning objects. It is also about sharing ideas and perspectives and a better understanding of humanity. Nigeria is pleased with the progress made in the negotiations with both the German government and museums and looks forward to signing agreements for their return uh, with both in the near future. I would like to sing single out the city of Cologne and the uh, Rautenstraat Museum for a special thank you for supporting the cause of restitution. Both truly have a deep understanding of their place in history. Of course, none of this would have been possible without the tenacity of people like Professor Kweju Laiola, who remained resolute in their push for restitution. Thank you very much and enjoy the evening.